is a 1997 Jeep Cherokee. It does misfire only on um, reverse. When we place a transmission in reverse, this is the code we have. I'm kind of quick here. I'm on the shop right now, and I'm recording this kind of quickly. Uh, data display. <laughs> Let me customize this data. I just wanted to see some stuff here. It does misfire when we put it in reverse. Let's see here. Misfire data, however, this is what we are interested on. Current synchronization. See, I'll put it on reverse right now. And I'll load it. He doesn't do it all the time. Only when it is hot. It's not doing it right now. Well, here in, on this uh, Jeep Cherokee, <coughs> uh, I make a bulk hole, you know. This vehicle has been here in the shop for about a six months with very intermittent only problem of um, only when they uh, place the transmission in reverse the engine misfire and sometimes stall <clears throat> so today the well, first time I'm checking on this one so I have been out of the shop for disability and I just came back and they gave me that and history is they replaced the um, CKP sensor two times and you know apparently it was acting up and they saw the signal was dropping here when they scope the scope it and they replaced them the, the crank sensor and the problem is fixed for about two months okay my theory here right now is um, <clears throat> they um, after they fix this one they move the wires but at this uh, this is being after everything is done so then what I did was this you know I'll go to the skin data and while someone else uh, is, is um, you know inside the vehicle and look at this one the current synchronization what happened so at this point you know is the is loaded in reverse so synchronization okay 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 we'll see okay so at almost at the end here lost see here right here the communication was lost and um, well I did up the back hole I make is I thought okay next I did scope I scope it I, I will show the scope now okay, now I will be showing about the scope part you know. okay Okay, we can see here on the green trace we have the uh, cam sensor signal and on the yellow we have yellow trace we have the CKP sensor we can see right here everything was fine Boom. right here we had an issue all those drops we had one, one drop here we had another one here this one looks pretty bad let me just zoom out on that one but look right here we had a bad missing pulses right here too so normally you know this is the cam sensor representing three cylinders three cylinders and same thing you know three cylinders here and another three here inside of each of them <clears throat> they should be three package of four pulses one two three four one two three four one two three four inside you know each square on the bottom and on the top representing three cylinders another three here six cylinder <laughs> okay we can see here we kept the, the the camp sensor signal was kept here all the time but we missed this one so what i thought is um well i said flex plate you know because we we, we know there is there have been a lot of issues with these flex plates on these vehicles so another event loose here 
and well we removed the transmission after we removed the transmission we didn't find anything wrong with the flex plate at all no broken nothing four wheel drive vehicle <clears throat> so then at this point we were thinking maybe any wire or something like that so from under the vehicle we saw the well no credit to me it was for someone else who saw that one on the shop so what happened is the wiring harness was making contact on the rear of the fuel rail and if you look at the wire there um, this the wire for the CKP sensor it was making some contact and rubbing so when we place the transmission in reverse if it was flexing the engine to that position where it was making more contact when we were forward it was going away because of the little flex it has from the motor mounts and my theory is why they fixed this one after putting the CKP sensor is they moved the wiring harness away a little bit so it stayed working for some time well this is the way sometimes how we we learn that kind of stuff you know but um, unfortunately you know we had to remove the transmission but at the same time I I should have thought you know whenever this flex, flex plate go bad you know we don't lose the signal we lose the synchronization but I didn't think about that but uh, for the future so hope it's, it helps someone look there where the the wire was rubbing on the back of the uh, fuel rail and hope it helps someone